Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about how to go from vertex form of a quadratic to standard form of a quadratic. And we're going to derive the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're not gonna be working with any numbers here. This is just a video where we come up with the standard form equation of a quadratic from a vertex form. So here is what we have on the screen. In yellow, we have vertex form, and in white, we have standard form. So how do we go from left to right? How do we go from vertex to standard? Well, if we go ahead and start over here, we're gonna say f of x is equal to a, and we can expand x minus h quantity squared because that's like x minus h times x minus h. So you can FOIL that, or if you remember the pattern here, this is the square of a binomial. So this becomes x squared minus two times x times h, plus h squared, and then we have plus k on the outside. So now we can distribute this a here. So a goes to all three terms there. So now we have f of x equals ax squared. Hey, that's nice, right? ax squared minus 2axh plus ah squared and then plus k. Now it looks kind of weird in the middle, but let's uh, use distributive property here to kind of write it in a more simpler way. So we have f of x equals, and we're gonna leave ax squared, but now we need plus in our equation, so I'm gonna write plus, and I'm going to factor out a negative 2ah, and I'm gonna write it like this. So negative 2ah times x, right? And then we're going to factor together now, plus in parentheses, ah squared plus k. All right, and so now we are in standard form. It just doesn't look like it yet. So let's write our standard form right below this, and we'll do it in white here, and let's write it as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, and I'll kind of expand this a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, there we go. All right, so now let's make some connections here. So look at what we have, a is just the same as a, right? So we can write a is equal to a, and what does this mean? a is the same thing, or it has the same meaning in vertex form as it does in standard form. Okay, now for B, what is B representing here? Well, here B is equal to negative 2AH. Okay, so now if we solve this for H, we're gonna get something that is very familiar to us. So if we solve this for H, we would be dividing both sides by negative 2A, right? So this is gonna be H is equal to B over negative 2A. Now, hopefully, uh, that rings a bell for how do we find the axis of symmetry, right? It is x equals opposite of b over 2a, or negative b over 2a. So this right here is what's gonna give us our axis of symmetry equation, x equals opposite of b over 2a, and that's what we can use for b. Now, lastly, we're gonna say c is equal to ah squared plus k. And now if we think about vertex form, we, we had it up here at the top in, in yellow. If we go ahead and plug in zero for x, what is that going to give us? Well, anytime x is zero, whatever we get for the y value, that's our y-intercept, right? Whenever x is zero. So if we take vertex form and we solve or we plug in zero for x, we're gonna say f of zero is equal to a times zero minus h quantity squared plus k. And now if we solve this a little bit, we're gonna get f of zero is equal to, well, zero minus h would be negative h, and negative h squared would be positive h. So we get a h squared plus k. And so now notice what we got. a h squared plus k is our y value when x is zero, which means a h squared plus k is the y intercept, which means c is also our y intercept in our standard form quadratic, okay? So that's how we can go from a vertex form quadratic to a standard form quadratic, just deriving standard form from vertex form, and also how we can interpret what the different letters or the variables mean in ax squared plus bx plus c.